Our first speaker, Dr. Rashmi Unwala, is, uh, has a career that has led her to be part-time with us, but she is the direct, associate director of the residency program, so she has a lot of teaching responsibilities. And she has um, some of her time serving two different populations, but her work here that she's going to speak about today is alopecia. So please help me welcome Dr. Unwala. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity to speak today. Um, hair loss is my special area of interest, and I think this comes up a lot in primary care. And so I hope I can give you guys some guidance on how to deal with it. I have no relevant disclosures. So today I wanted to really focus on giving all of you in primary care an algorithm to address your patient when she talks about, hey doc, I'm losing my hair, what do you do? I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide for how to address it and how to effectively triage your patients. I wanna spend a few minutes talking about unique needs of our African-American and Afro-Caribbean population. This is a special population to me and ones that I want you to spend a little bit more time with and then introduce you to a new condition called frontal fibrosing alopecia. Okay, introduce you to a condition called frontal fibrosing alopecia. Is it because of this? Let's start with a question. Um, we'll start with, so a very typical patient that you may see is going to be a premenopausal woman who chronic diffuse non-scarring hair loss. So you've evaluated her, you think that this is diffuse non-scarring hair loss, and she asks about supplementation. Which one of these five supplements is the most likely to give her benefit? Biotin, vitamin E, iron, selenium, or vitamin A? All right, so the answer for this question was iron, and we're gonna talk specifically about a lot of the issues having to do with supplementation. In general, the vast majority of our patients who are otherwise healthy do not require nutritional supplementation, even though this is a very, very popular um, initial therapy for hair loss, and I wanna try to push you guys away from that. In certain individuals, telogen effluvium, or excessive shedding, can 